We end here tonight with a basketball player who may have an unfair advantage over the competition, a bigger heart and a stronger will than anyone on the court. Here's Steve Hartman on the road. Every week, he set himself up for disappointment. Every week, 14-year-old Jamarian Stiles came to this community center in Boca Raton, Florida, hoping to play basketball with the other kids. And every week, he was rejected. They'll start picking teams, and I would be the only one left out. And then they'll just tell me, just go home and stuff. You can break someone's heart like that. As we first reported last year, the problem was obvious to everyone but Jamarion. He lost his hands and most of his arms as an infant due to a rare bacterial infection. But he insisted that was no reason to give up his hoop dreams. What about soccer? Have you heard of that sport? Yeah, you would think that I would be good at soccer. I'm really not. I'm horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why, first day of eighth grade here at Eagles Landing Middle School, Jamarion took his case to basketball coach oh. Darian Williams. Yeah. Said he wanted to be on the team. I said, all great, well, just make sure you try out. But you say, okay, great, but what are you really thinking? <laughs> this man has no arms. Yeah. How is he going to play basketball? But, man, he told me, Mr. Williams, I've never been on a team before. Even if I don't play, I just want to be on the team. And how could I say no to that? And that's how the Eagles got their first armless basketball player. Jamarian, number two there, quickly earned a reputation as the hardest worker on the squad. He was usually the first one in the gym, usually the last one to leave. Still, he sat on the bench most of the season. Try one more. Until one day, the coach put him in the game with about six minutes left. And when he eventually got the ball on the far side of the court, everyone yelled, shoot it. So he did and sank a three-pointer. And if you didn't quite see that, don't worry, because shortly after, he got the ball again, this time on the near side, for another three-pointer. At the buzzer, Jamarian Stiles, the kid no one would pick, was now everyone's hero. Since that story first aired, Jamarian went on to play freshman basketball, still number two there, and has every intention of making varsity one day. But here's the best part. After hitting those threes, Jamarian can now play all he wants at the community center. He's picked all the time. Really, the only thing he won't play is the victim. If I could wave a magic wand right now and give you your arms back, would you want them? I don't need them. <laughs> you don't need them? No. Nope. Who needs hands when you've got this kind of touch? Steve Hartman, on the road, in Boca Raton, Florida. Jim Marion, you are the best.